Okay, so you have this research paper and you need to have in-text citations and a works cited page. And I know that can be difficult for um, you to understand how to do. So let's real quick show you an easy way of doing this. So this is a student paper about Gandhi and it doesn't, I mean, it's got decent information and it's fine, but it's missing something. It's missing in-text citations and its works cited page has just one source here. So let's fix that. Um, the first thing you're going to do is go to the Chrome Web Store, just Google Chrome Web Store, and then right here you're going to type in MyBib, okay? And it'll bring this up right here. Okay, you're going to add to Chrome, add to Chrome, excuse me, and then add the extension. This is free. It's connected to your Google account, so you don't need to have a new password or anything from it. If you don't see it, it'll be right up here. You can click on that little puzzle piece, and then here I would pin it because that will keep it up here on your dashboard so you can find it more easily. Okay, so my next step is, so I've got my paper. Um, I want to add some quotes to it. So let's say I went to history.com and I found Gandhi and I found this thing where it says Gandhi was in prison several times. Okay, so I'm going to copy this, this little quote. I'm going to control C it. I'm going to come back to my paper. I'm going to say, according to uh, history.com, quotation mark, there's my, oops, we're going to go, there's my um, quotation. But now I need to say where I got that from, right? So if I go back here to this place where I got it and I click on this little thing, it's going to, right now it's set to MLA 8, which is the correct style. That's what you want to use. If it's not, you're going to have to scroll down the very first time you use it and, and pick that, okay? So here is, after that, it'll be just, it'll automatically do it. Also notice that it'll tell you if the source is credible or not. So my in-text citation is right here. I click to copy it. I go back to my paper and make sure my cursor is right there. And there shouldn't be a comma there. Um, I'm going to paste there's my citation, and then I can put a period. It goes there, not here. It goes here. Oops, no quot quotation mark. There. Okay, so I have a period there, and that's my citation. But what does this mean? This citation means that at the end of the paper, there is a works cited source for it. Well, there's not, right? So I'm going to put my cursor here at the end. I'm going to go back to this, and I'm going to click on this again. And this is my works cited source right here. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to paste it. So this is the next source. Notice there's not an extra space here. There's not an extra space here. The title is centered on the page. Now this history starts with an H. This starts with an M. That's not alphabetical. So I'm going to highlight this entire thing and I'm going to drag it up here so that it comes first because it should be alphabetically listed. So let's say I also want to use this source right here. Maybe I use this quotation. I need to click to copy, go over to my page, control V, there it is. So this is Mahatma Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi. This starts with a B, this starts with an S, so this comes after this. And I could go back here, I could copy this and use it as a quote. I could also use the in-text citation there and make a new quote on my page. Now the other thing that I can do is I can save it to a project and that will open up my Bib account which will be connected to my Google account and it will save all of these things for me so that I can use them later if I need to. Here's the place to copy the in-text citation. Here's the place to copy the bibliography entry and both times you just have to go back over to your paper, control V. You can change your um, Citation style in a science class, you might need to use APA. Uh, let's see what else you can do. You can do create citations for just about anything. If you click here, let's say you did an interview with your uncle and you want to use that as a source, that will show you. You click on this. You just have to fill in who did you interview, what's your name, title your interview, say the date, and it, and it will create a citation for you. So this is a very, very useful tool. Um, I would use it all the way through college. And it'll store all of your things for you. It won't cost you anything, and there's no ads, which is super fantastic. Pretty cool, right?